Organic Worm Casting by Soto. Just wanted to share an update on my wild praying mantis. I noticed in the morning when I went to visit him, I like to see him every day since I found him, even though I know he's not my pet. I um, am curious enough to observe him and I found him pretty awesome. But on this particular day, he didn't want to have anything to do with me. And for the last two weeks, we we were getting along pretty nice. I noticed that um, his lower abdomen was uh, pulsating, which I had never noticed before. And uh, he was trying to go down the tree uh, rather than uh, stay up on it. And I think because at the time, uh, he knew what he was needing to do, which he was on a mission and I was in his way. So I'm thankful that uh, I paid enough attention to where I did catch the signs. So here he is trying to get down from the tree. And at this time, even though we've had a relationship for about two weeks, I still have not picked him up. I use a long stick, he gets on it, and I'm able to pick him up and put him on different plumerian plants. On this particular morning, like I said, he wasn't himself. He started going down the plumeria tree. I picked him up with the stick and I put him back up on the top. And then he's looking at me, still a little sluggish, seemed like. And, um,. He's lower avenue is still pulsating and I guess he wants to get onto that leaf. So he's going to try to work himself up onto that leaf, but um, apparently he's not sticking to it. And what happens is, is that he actually slips and falls. So I know that something not right and I'm thinking well maybe it's because he needs to eat so once I pick him up off the ground I go ahead and I put him on another plumeria tree where there's actually a glassy wing sharpshooter leaf hopper I'm thinking well if he notices the insect if he's hungry he'll go for it in the meantime, I was concerned about this pulsating abdomen. So once I picked him up and put him on the tree, I went in the house to research that online. Hanging from the new tree with the insect above him. And during this time when I left him alone, he actually molted. If you look back down, you'll see him hanging, but up on the top with the branches, you'll see where his molted skin is laying. And in the evening, he's just reflecting him. He's much bigger. He's a lot greener and he's super cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this special video on my wild prey and mantis. I'll be making some more organic worm casting videos soon. Until then, have yourself a great Friday. And remember, black goat's the way to go, but prey and mantises are pretty cool. Bye for now.